With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is 1 litre solution is prepared by mixing 61 gram of benzoic acid, pK value is 4.2, with 72 gram of sodium benzoate and then 300 ml of 0.1 molar HBr solution was added. The final pH of final solution is. So in this question we are given 1 litre of the solution that is prepared by mixing 61 gram of benzoic acid whose pK value is given 4.2 and with 72 gram of sodium benzoate and then 300 ml of 1 molar HBr solution was added. So we have to calculate final pH of the solution. So first we will calculate the moles of the benzoic acid. Moles, number of moles are calculated as given weight upon molecular weight. So given weight is 61 gram and molecular weight is of benzoic acid is 122 gram per mole. So this gives us 0.5 moles of benzoic acid. Similarly, we can find out the number of moles of sodium benzoate. Benzoic acid is C6H5COOH and number of moles of sodium benzoate that is a salt. This can be calculated as given weight is 72 grams divided by its molecular weight that is 144 gram per mole. So this gives us the number of moles as 0.5 moles. And sodium benzoate its formula is C6H5COONA. This is the formula of the sodium benzoate molecular formula. Now if we see that 300 ml of 1 molar HBr solution was added. So number of moles will be number of moles of HBr will be because its concentration is given as molarity is number of moles upon volume. So volume and molarity are given so we can calculate number of moles by multiplying molarity that is 1 molar into volume that is 300 ml. So we will convert this into liters by dividing by 1000. So this gives us 0.3. So 0.3 moles of HBr are present. Now HBr this is a strong acid. HBr is strong acid. So it will dissociate. It will dissociate into H positive and Br negative. Now if 0.3 moles of this is present initially at time t is equal to 0 and at equilibrium these all will get consumed and 0.3 mole of H positive and 0.3 mole of Br negative will be there in the solution because it will completely dissociate. Now the C6H5OONA that is sodium benzoate this will also dissociate as C6H5COONA. This will form this C6H5COO negative and Na positive. Now this Na positive it reacts with the Br negative. It means they will consume all the Na positive this Br negative. So Br negative they are 0.3 moles it means initially they were 0.5 moles of C6H5ONA were present. It means 0.5 moles out of 0.5 this that is 0.3 will react 0.3 of sodium will react to form 0.3 mole of NaBr. If 0.3 has been reacted it means 0.5 minus 0.3 it will remain that is 0.2. Similarly C6H5COO negative that will react with the H positive. So it will react with H positive to form benzoic acid. Now this will be present in 0.3 H positive 0.3 moles. It will also form in 0.3 mole. Now initially the C6H5 benzoic acid number of moles were 0.5 and now they were formed by the reaction of C 
benzoate ion and H positive. So this is 0.3 plus 0.5. So total number of moles of C6H5 COH will be total number of moles of C6H5 COOH will be 0.3 plus 0.5 that is 0.8 moles. So total 0.8 moles will be there and of the salt C6H5CONA 0.5 minus 0.3 that is 0.2 moles were there in the solution. They have 0.2 moles. It means they will be forming the weak acid and its conjugate base. This is the weak acid and this is the conjugate base. So weak acid and its conjugate base they will form a buffer solution that is acidic buffer. Acidic buffer solution will be formed. So, acidic buffer solution, its pH is calculated as pH is equal to pKa plus log of concentration of salt upon concentration of acid. Now, here salt is the sodium benzoate and acid is benzoic acid and pK of this is also given in the question that is 4.2. So, it will be concentration of salt that is C6H5COONA divided by concentration of acid C6H5CECOOH. So this will be 4.2 plus log sodium benzoate moles were 0.2 and benzoic acid moles were 0.8. So this gives us 4.2 plus log 1 by 4. This will be log 1 by 4. And by using the property of log, log m by n, that will be equal to log m minus log n. So, this will be log 1 minus log 4. And log 1 is 0. So, this will be 4.2. And log 4 value is 0.6. So, we can write 4.2 minus log 4 value, that is 0.6. So, this will be 3.6. It means pH of the resulting solution due to this acidic buffer that will be 3.6. So, correct answer to this question is A option 3.6. I hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.